Hello. It has been weeks, no, months, since this video should have been posted. But here it is, day five of our Walt Disney World trip, the last day of the trip. Get ready, here we go. So we took it easy. If you've seen my other videos, you know I had a rough time some days with heat exhaustion and things like that. So we just slept in, slowly got ready for the day, and then we headed over to Magic Kingdom. And we had lunch at Tony's, the restaurant, right when you go in, it's right to the right-hand side, Tony's. Like the guy that makes the spaghetti in Lady and the Tramp. And so there was a cute Lady and the Tramp statue in the restaurant. They gave you so much food though. Maybe my own fault, I ordered a huge pizza, could not eat all of it, but it was delicious. And after that, we just moseyed on over to Liberty Square. I became obsessed with Liberty Square. I looked at all the shops there and just spent time there. I loved the little buildings and the atmosphere they created there with the old historic Americana aesthetic. And I thought it was just so cute. And we saw a parade happen. We got to see Gaston in the distance and that was fun. And then to make sure we took it easy we went back to our hotel room rested a bit watched some tv and then made our way out again this time our mission was to go to epcot to ride the frozen ride i was so determined to make it happen i'm only going to disney world once is what i'm thinking so i need to ride the frozen ride so we ventured out again to go to epcot and it was pouring rain pouring rain i was so glad i got to use my poncho though because i packed it for this very reason <laughs> so much water. The most rain I had ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and we made it over to Epcot and I went right to guest service as I explained my condition where I couldn't stand in line for very long and without feeling faint and having to leave and just not being able to handle it, the heat or the standing for a long time. And they were so understanding. It took maybe 90 seconds, the whole interaction. And they're like, oh yeah, we will give you a, I can't remember what it's called now, a disability pass or something like that something disability access pass where you just have to go up to one of the cast members at the beginning of the line, explain you have this pass and they scan your magic band, see that you're in the system and they give you a time to come back to line. Kind of like how a fast pass works where you have a return time for your fast pass, kind of works like that. So they gave us a time to return to the line. So we just had to wander around Epcot in the rain for a while until our return time for the frozen ride. And we walked through puddles, not puddles, rivers, rivers of water. Our feet were soaking wet. We looked at some different shops and things, but you know, all the shops were crowded. People wanted to get out of the rain. It was a crazy storm. There was thunder, there was lightning, and then like buckets and buckets of rain. It was ridiculous. And then our return time finally happened. I finally got to ride Frozen and it was fun. And I'm just so happy I got to ride it and I didn't have to wait in that long freaking line and then like faint again. So I'm so thankful to Disney guest services and that they have this option for people, for anybody that has any problems standing in line for a long time or they can't wait in line for a long time due to any other conditions. And they have the system set up where you are still able to ride the ride and they make it happen and it was like, oh, magical Disney working for me. So I loved that so much and I'm so thankful. And the Frozen ride was really fun, very cute, very frozen. There's a lot of songs and there's a lot of twinkly lights and you're in a boat and it, they did a really good job. I really liked it. Then we decided to end our trip at Magic Kingdom. So we took the shuttle to Magic Kingdom, looked at some shops there. We were on a mission to buy a Pride Mickey because he was very cute and rainbow. And they had so much cute Pride stuff, shirts, and ears and pajamas and socks and jackets and backpacks and it was adorable. We did not find a Pride Mickey, they only had Pride Minis, but we were able to find one later on eBay. Here he is, look how cute he is! All rainbowy and just Mickey and he's so cute. And then I just want to show you my keychain slash ornament souvenir I bought for us. I usually go for a keychain because they're less expensive, but I use it as an ornament on our Christmas tree when we decorate for Christmas. So we can remember all our trips and things, not just to like Disney World, but to all our travels. I try to buy a keychain or ornament of some sort to commemorate it. And this is the one I bought for our Disney World trip, just simply Walt Disney World. So we can remember all the fun and interesting and memorable times we had there. And then we felt 
we had ended our trip well, we did everything we wanted to do and we went back to our hotel and I used the hairdryer to dry our shoes because they were so king wet and they were the shoes we needed to wear on the way home on the plane ride the next day. So I used the hairdryer for quite a long time to try to dry them to the best of my ability and I did a pretty good job. But I could not leave this trip without eating another Mickey Mouse ice cream bar. So that is the last piece of Walt Disney World food I ate and it was delicious. <laughs> and that is the end of our Disney World trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you like to do at Disney World. What is your favorite ride at Disney World? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.